Danny, congratulations as away performances go. How good was that one? Felt really good. Obviously, the, the final outcome of the game was was excellent. Um, we've worked really hard over the international break. Um, we haven't got the got on the deck chairs or anything like that. We've been working really hard as a group, um, trying to improve. I think we look really good tonight. We looked um, in control. There was long spells about the ball it was going to happen at times at Middlesbrough, um, but I felt we were in a comfortable position throughout the game and. We look, we look good going forward as well when we that ball. Yeah, what was the key defensively in that? You mentioned particularly second half, they had an awful lot of the ball. Is it concentration, just a desire at times, that, that will to want to defend and keep the ball out of our net? Yeah, I just think you know, good communication, organisation and just that will, real um, work ethic helps. Um, and we've got that in abundance. There's never been a lack of that here since I've been here. So, um, you know, we won't always go away and win, but tonight's one of those nights where we have and we're really happy with it. I thought the partnership between you and Dom has been growing throughout the course of the season. T tonight, could you see it all the fruits of your hard work in the training come out into the game itself? And are you enjoying that partnership as well? Yeah, I mean, I get on great with Dom. Um, it's just about consistency, isn't it? And the more you play with someone, the more you learn each other's games and you you know, you know organise and you work off each other. And um, yeah, Dom's been brilliant. Um, he deserved this goal tonight. I was really happy for him. Um, and yeah, let's, let's move on to... The, to Saturday and look forward to that. One each in the goal scoring stakes now, but how sort of good a feeling was it when you see him sliding in at the back post? Oh, it was excellent, yeah. I was just on the way back into uh, a defensive position and I just said to him there, it's a good job I went back and you uh, you stayed forward. So yeah, he'll be chuffed, he deserves it and um, yeah, credit to the group for sticking, at the t sticking with the task and getting the goal and really digging in there at the end. I thought it was a real quality goal as well when you've worked so hard defensively as well and you've kept them out. How good is that feeling when you go and produce that moment of quality and you get your noses in front? Yeah, I think there was there was times in the first half where it felt like, we, you know, on another day if we just that, had that little bit more belief and cutting edge, we might have scored um, in the first half too because we had the, the ball in some really good areas at times. Um, so yeah, just to cap that off with the second half goal was brilliant and then it gives us something to defend. Is this an even better win given Middlesbrough's form of late as well? They've been scoring goals for fun. Yeah, I mean, we're well aware of everyone in the league. Um, we, we do a lot of um, lot of work in front of the television and the analysis and everything, so we knew what was to be expected. Um, but like we say, we love the Championship because you never know what's going to happen and, and tonight was good for us. It's funny old league, isn't it? Because we've not won an away game until Cardiff in the league and all of a sudden it's back to back. To be honest, I don't, I don't really look too much at it. I just try and make sure as a group, um, you know, we go into each game and we're full of confidence and we're organised. Every game's a one-off game. That's the way we've got to take it. Um, so we'll do that again on Saturday. Just in terms of you and your season so far, how pleased are you with the way things have gone? I think you've already started more games for us this season than you did within the whole of last has it been everything that you, you'd wanted the move and the way it's played out so far I think so I think um, you know last season's last season I'll move on to this season and I've been working extremely hard to make sure I'm in a good position while I'm at Blackburn and I'm in a good position to play so whenever I'm needed and called on and you know when I've got a, a chance of playing I'll always be ready and give everything is it the more games you play as well, the, the better you feel? And did you feel in a good place, sort of physically at the moment? Yeah, physically I feel great. So um, yeah, I'll keep working hard off the pitch, making sure I'm in uh, top condition and recovering really well now for Saturday, and um, hopefully continue that through the season. Quick turnaround, but it's a good one to look forward to at the weekend, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, there's no need to, um, there's no need for extra motivation, is there? With games, um, especially off the back of a win tonight, you, you can't wait for the next game. So it's just a case of recovering and. Like I say, do our homework and give it everything on Saturday. Leeds will bring a lot. How good would it be to get our fans out in, in number and to make it a really, really good atmosphere at Ewood? I think so. As always, like at home, we you know we want to make it a real fortress. So it's it's um it's important we all buy into that and make sure that you know when we're all there, we're together and reunited and we go we go together and make sure we try it and make it a really tough place to come. Is it games like that where the fans can help make that extra little bit of difference as well? A thousand percent. I think when there's a connection between the home fans and the, the players on the pitch, it does really. It can at times suck the ball into the goal and you know it gives you that extra yard and that um, determination to go and get a result. So yeah, looking forward to it.